Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing my Cramathon TBR. is running from June 10th to the 17th. It's hosted by myself as well as Jay from The Awkward Bookworm, Dylan from Dylan the Reader 5, and Allie from Hardback Quarter. So we're all very excited to be hosting our second round as co-hosts with you guys. And yeah, let's get into my TBR. And if you made a TBR, well, if you made a TBR, I've probably watched it. I watched a bunch of them this morning. But if you had a TBR, Link it or tweet it to us. We would love to see them. I personally would, and I'm sure the other hosts would as well. I have the reading challenges. I'll have my announcement video linked down below with all of that info. So first up here is a predicted five-star read. I have Undead Girl Gang by Lily Anderson. And this book I know is like a contemporary-ish style kind of book. It's also about like witches and witchcraft. And then it's a little bit about like zombies and like bringing someone's best friend back to life. It sounds like a really interesting book. This was on my Buzzwordathon TBR, but I didn't get to it. And it's actually not a bad thing because uh, this was the Page Habit book. I got this in my Page Habit box. So now I get to read like my annotated one. And I'm really excited. I really hope I enjoy it. Sounds right up my alley. Out of your comfort zone kind of read. So for this, so for this, I have Binti, and I cannot pronounce this author's name, but this is like a little sci-fi short. Is it a novella? I'm not exactly sure. But some surviving this war, gifts of her people, the wisdom of the universe. But first she has to make sure she gets out alive. Something like that. It's like some sci-fi kind of little book. I've heard good things about it, and I picked it up while I was in New York, so I want to get this one. A read. Next is a book that's been on your TBR for a while. So for this, I'm going with Smoke by Ellen Hopkins. I read the first book in this series called Burned. These books deal with a lot of tough subject matter, and I can't really talk about what this one is about without spoiling you guys for the previous book, obviously. But Ellen Hopkins' books always deal with tough topics and are written in verse. So I'm very, like, I've had this one for a bit now, and I read Burned maybe five months ago. So I do want to get to the sequel and the final book and it should be pretty quick as well because it's written in verse. This is an LGBTQIAP plus book, um, own voices, etc. So depending on what you want to do for that. But for this I picked up Every Heart a Doorway by Shauna McGuire. I did read this before and this is going to be my reread because I want to reread it for the sequel, the companion down among the sticks and bones which is on my tbr as well this one's for like favorite color because i love like i know like gray and black aren't colors they're shades but like i'm counting it anyways so i'm hoping to reread this one and prep for this one <laughs> And they're both pretty tiny and I read this one the first time for a readathon anyway, so I know it's something I can get through. But these are these little books basically about um, these characters that can go through doors into other worlds and what happens is when they all come back from where they, the place they knew, they all kind of meet up at this one point. It's a really hard book to describe but they all kind of get together after like their journeys and they're kind of all reflecting and like they all want to go back to where they were but they can't so they all kind of have to cope with this new reality in a way and then there's so with all these people together there's obviously some things that happen and there's some like murder involved and some mystery and it's they're really it's a really interesting read and I believe this one follows like the Jack and Jill in the book I think I think this follows them maybe probably so yes next is like poetry manga graphic novel something like that just something that's not like an actual novel so for this I have snot girl this is by Brian Lee O'Malley and Leslie Hung and this is just honestly who is she a fashion blogger living her best life um, I picked this one up at BookCon and I got it signed. There's like a little card in here by the author. I have to like stick it in still. But the art style looks very like vibrant and pretty. And I'm very, let me show you guys the art style. It looks very vibrant and pretty. And I'm really interested to see how I like this one. I've heard really good things about it. For the last challenge is it's to read seven books. So I don't know if this is going to be that book because this like I hope to get through all of that but I don't know because this is like a very busy time of year with school there's like exams coming and there's some other stuff going on as well so we will see but I ended up pick that for this one I have Saints and Misfits by SK Alley all I know is this is about a Muslim teenager and it's about 
her struggles. There's that's all I really know. I've heard pretty good things about it and one of my close friends like in real life suggested this to me and that I read it to get like another perspective. So I want to do that and I've been meaning to get to it. So if I don't get to it during this just read -a if I don't get to it during this readathon, I hope to get it to it eventually sometime soon. I hope so there you guys have it. Those were the books that I hope to read for the Cramathon this coming week. I think if I get this up on time, it should be either the day it starts or the day before. So let's hope. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. Again, let me know if you like this location, if you're participating, all of that jazz. If you um, feel like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, whatever you want. Click the bell. Cool. Um, and I'll see you guys all super soon with a new video. Bye. Back tomorrow's way